They'll be calling you a radical. Want to talk about Fukushima and everybody coming out. Oh, we were misled to believe. Time comes out, and I read this article yesterday, I'm blown away. They're so-called environmental experts. Oh, we, how is this fucking guy an environmental expert? How are any of them? And I want everybody who's the newbies coming into this, this has been retorted in exact detail by me from the day it happened. I mean, in incredible exact detail. It's so, the ironies of this are so incredible. 311, the calendar opposite of 911, Plumegate, I call it the Pacific Genocide. Do not let these journalistic whores off the hook. Let's lay this out in detail, in detail. Sanche Gupta was over there. He's a neurosurgeon. He took the Hippocratic oath. He's a doctor. Legally, this is malpractice. He's going to get his ass off so hard. This is such this is such malice in a legal form. This is not accessory to murder. They might as well... This is more than smoking guns. These are murders. Look, CNN knew in detail. They refused to report it. Fox knew. The BBC knew. Reuters knew. ABC, NBC. They all knew in factual detail. I've read the study over and over. How many times have I read the study right here of the international team that was over there in June? Plutonium in the water column, 300 meters down, 40 miles out. Their conclusion that plutonium is into the current. In June of 2011, if you want to say, oh, understand, Fukushima has been pushed into the Pacific every day for 890 plus days. The IEA, the UN, who's the world I want, health area, which is really the world I want to kill you organization, they made the decision to push it into the Pacific on day three. Pawn it off on the U.S. I cannot overstate this. This has killed so many people in the U.S. now. My work shows over 200,000. And do you think I'm over it? Oh, no. It, that's a low. I don't, don't you think it's ironic as I go off and go crazy, give the very first report on Earth about this? I, I lay down in detail. I lay out their double plutonium in on the 3rd of April 2011 when it comes out 12 12 12 as I listened to the hearings in Japan I had Mikado translating for me and they come out they were dumping they did their first illegal massive dump on April 3rd the irony is you know I say Cassandra people don't even know what Cassandra is but maybe I really am there I don't know it's pretty crazy I, it's just like people say the nuclear industry hates you so bad they sent you leukemia in the mail. I'm like, they didn't have to. They sent it to me before I was born, just like they gave it to you before you were born. Just like now they're piling on. These guys all knew. They participated, and even worse than this. This, Yeah, the Obama administration, as I call him, Barry Antoinette now, let them eat cake, milk and cake. You know, the whole, well, uh, it's the Republicans, it's the Democrats, it's the whole apparatus, but it's the American populace. It is representative of government that we had. Because you guys, I mean, it's been right in your face. I've shoved it right down your throat. You know, everybody says, oh, you're so extreme. I turn off. So you went over to Jans. She did it humorously. You went over to Patrick Henry. He did it intelligently. We did it laid out. You could have picked any one of your freaking sick demographics you could feed. You refuse to believe in the truth because you don't want the, you can't handle the fucking truth. Oh, boy, is it. But the marine biologists. It just, it, it proves the underbelly of America. The greatest sin and the greatest sin to all this is lies, but it's wealth without work. That's what we've turned into in this country, wealth without work. It's seriously, wealth without art, art without apprenticeship, skill without apprenticeship. That is the downfall of this country. And I don't want to say, oh, this is going to happen. Oh, God, buy gold, hoard into gold, silver. I call gold right to the top at 1900 too. I call silver right to the top of 45. I mean, it's right here. Video, video. Video killed the media star. Oh, did a video kill the media star. Look, the marine biologists and the marine ecologists, they make huge money. I've come to the conclusion. They don't do anything. It's like everybody says, oh, the nuclear industry is trying to kill us. The nu they're doing this for money. You're in the nuclear business. You are a nuclear physicist. You work for one of the government, the DOE, which pays billions and billions and billions out to people who do nothing. They don't work. They do not work. They do nothing. Absolutely nothing. We've been, the marine biologists all over this country who are federally taxpayer and they make huge money all up and down California, 
They're the Uncle Toms. They don't do anything. It's like this. Oh, I'm a marine biologist, yet I've never been in the ocean. Oh, what's a dolphin? That's what we've morphed into. The, eco, the marine ecologists, they're scum. They don't work. They don't do anything. They z do zero. It's wealth without working. And they make a lot of money. That's, the, that's what this is all about. That, they, they don't want to report and tell the freaking truth because, God forbid, their pyramid, their glass house is going to come tumbling down. They're going to expose to their spouse. They're going to expose to their kids. They're going to expose to their grandkids. Their life is a total fucking fraud. What do you think all the hairspray is about? Do not let these fucking journalists off the hook. Oh, we were mis... The fuck they were misled. They were not misled. They are the problem. I've termed it black and yellow journalism. They refuse to fucking report this. This is murder. The Pacific Genocide is very real. You think it's ironic that my cancer has tracked... I mean, you think about it. Say it. Fight it. Have I said it? Am I fighting it? As this thing is morphed into... I got cancer October 13th of 2011. After I rant and raved and carried on and gave this injection. And no one... I love how the media... They won't come to me. God, I'll tell you why they won't come to me. And they won't... They're never going to rant. You talk to anybody out there that's followed this long. I am the fucking expert in the fucking world on that that fell out. Not just because of academia, though I, I have done that my whole life. My PhD. No, not just because of that. My father was nuked to death, the atomic veteran. Some asshole posted the other day, oh, they, they volunteered. The fuck they volunteered? They didn't even know where they were putting them. They killed them at the blast, a lot of them. Perfectly healthy men, all 40,000 died of leukemia. They were drafted. They were drafted. They were forced into the fucking desert. I lived it my whole life. I watched it. I lived on this fucking platform as downwinders as Utah. I've lived. I've watched so much fucking death from fucking nuclear fall all over here as Utahns are in denial. And I used to say I used to eat, sleep, drink it. Now I literally sleep with it. I got AML. I was given no chance to live. As this, I mean, it's ironic that, you know, my fight with cancer, my fight with the new industry, how correlated it has been. It's been so Cassandra-like, my place and time, as I used to say when I was a kid, I'm living in the country in western version of Hamlet. I used to tell my grandmother that, she'd say, boy, what, what is the matter with you? Oh, cursed spite, was I ever born to set this right? The death of my father, the death of all 40,000 atomic veterans is nobody stood up for them. Nobody. Nobody, except for Carol Gallagher. Nobody. Leonard Byrd. They stood up. I stood up. I've been fighting for them with this stuff, you, this video you watch. Of in the desert as my lawsuits. I fought with these fuckers for fucking decades, literally. Oh, cursed spite. And I will say this to the marine biologists, wealth without work, the marine ecologists, you accessories to murder, you journalistic cores, you Sanchez Guptas of the world, your Time magazine. I'm an environmental expert. None of you fuckers are environmental experts. Oh, Malcolm, I'm a fucking where You're journalistic fucking whores. Up there, Oregon State. Kathleen Higley. Eric Lax. Peter Gale, I have a list. I've read them online, mold them on. They're people with names and lists. They're journalistic whores, black and urine journalists. They are the SS. This has killed well over 200,000 people in the U.S. That is factual. The survival rates of leukemia and cancer were climbing until Fukushima. For 20-something years, declined via medicine. These whores, these journalistic whores, these nuclear... What does it say in Hamlet? Ophelia, here's some rue for you and here's some for me. But you must wear your rue with a difference. I'd give you some flowers, but they all wilted when my father passed. Some daisies, some violets, some violets. Black and yellow daisies. Van Gogh, black and yellow. The ironies are so Cassandra like this. Just because. Somebody lives 500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, or lives today. We somehow contemporize and think, oh, our generational arrogance makes us abstract, makes us something different. No, we're not different. We're human beings. And this is the progression of humanity. And people fought. People fought up and stood, and they identified, and they used new modern-day art forms, whatever they be, Pollock. You know, people might the videos. I love Jackson Pollock's statement when he says, the strangeness will wear off. Well, the strangeness will wear off on my videos, and I'm glad I used the fucking intensity because it, the fucking, the, the detail, the thesis, the actually apparatus, the thumbprint, the telling of the tale.
has to counter the culture. What is the culture? Wealth without work. Marine biologists who do fucking nothing. May you all rot in the lowest... You know, I go back to Einstein. He said he thought that maybe hell was a black hole. Good luck to you, you marine biologists and all you fucking journalistic whores. Do not let these fuckers off the hook. This has been pointed to Pacific the entire fucking time. You see one single marine biologist report out of the 300 marine biology departments in the United States reporting anything, not yay or nay. What is the statistical probability of that? You, I'm a stats guy. Get out and run your regression. It's impossible. They fucking know! They know! But they're willing to kill their own family. They're willing to kill their own fucking loved ones. They're willing to kill themselves to fucking protect. That's the hairspray. The modern day wig. Fuck you fucking evil fuckers who fucking did this to me. You know, I'm in the fight of my fucking life. By the way, I got good results two days ago. You know, thank you to everybody. And do not underestimate our small army out here. This weapon that we have called social media. YouTube. Yeah, it's been used for a chicken trying to fucking go and fucking kill. <laughs> Look at my kid. <laughs> It's morphing into so much more. As my doctor says, without the internet, Kev, you're not alive. Because they found a study out of South Korea who they matched some of my treatment to. They, they would have never known out there. My form of leukemia is so, so rare. It's de novo presented in tumors. And if you get sick and you get a tumor, do not make sure the pathologist dips it in both samples. As Silverman, the pathologist here, is supposed to be the best in the world, dip mine in the wrong solution. I diagnosed myself. I saved myself that way in the inception by understanding so much about nuclear fallout. Then these beautiful doctors and these amazing team of doctors and this amazing at the top of East Day at LDS Hospital saved my life. And everybody, these cards and letters, people stepped in and they supported me. And people on this YouTube and these info fighters and these info artists and all these people who've told this tale in factual fucking detail. We've done it. I think it's so ironic that we've all done it for free. When these wealth without work, we're doing work without wealth. You know, and who's the true, and who's the right, and who's the freaking, yeah, us, the work without wealth. The marine biologists, these journalistic fucking whores, and I've got lists, and I've read your fucking names and lists, we know who you are. And then all intellectual mobs are going to turn on you. Oh, they're going to turn on you. I equate to 1918. When the intellect, when they pulled the same thing with the influential plague across this country, and all you marine biologists and you marine ecologists and you journalistic whores that knew, and we know you knew. Read what happened to those people once the American poppy is finding you. And I love it how we need a leaderless movement. That's exactly what we don't need is a leaderless movement. We need leaders in this fucking country, real fucking leaders, not these fake phony fuckers. Not fucking fake Christians in hairspray that stand up and preach fucking mass murder in the name of Christ. We need real leaders. Leaderless fucking police. That's the problem. We have no fucking real leaders that have any intelligence and have any strength. Stay untuned.